Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make that nice quick intro you just saw. I made it all in Premiere Pro and you can use it for video openers or just your plain old intro. So first you want to make a new Premiere Pro sequence, obviously. And then you're going to find some free stock footage to use in the video. I'm using VidEasy, that is videasy.com, it is, will be in the description. I found a nice sunset nature time lapse on there. Looks quite nice. So yeah, once you've downloaded that, I'm just gonna drag it in. Boom. That's yeah, pretty nice. Then once you have that, you're gonna do a new item, title. So you don't have to name it anything, just title really doesn't matter. Then you're gonna put your title, obviously, there. I'm gonna name mine, um, the font I used in the intro that you just saw was Mohav. And it was bold version. The link for that will be in the description too. So let's make it a bit smaller. Oops. Okay. Then I added shadow. The opacity saves the same angle. Make the distance zero. Size 100, spread 100. Just gives it some emphasis. Make sure it's centered horizontally and vertically. I also added a stroke. No, not an inner one. Whoops. An outer stroke. That looks good, actually. The default. Okay, so it's there. But now you have to cut it. So you're going to reopen this again. You're going to select your select tool, press Ctrl and C to copy it. And then you're going to erase everything besides your first word. Just leave it there. Then save. Make a new item, make another title. Paste it. Then you're going to erase the other two, or however much words you have. And then you're gonna center this. Well, you're gonna put it wherever you think it goes. Then press Control and V. Make sure you select the one that you have, and then line it up. That looks perfect. You're gonna want to erase that, so that's just there. Then X out. So now we have this and that. Make sure they're stacked on top of each other, because if they're side by side... Whoops. If they're side by side, they won't be able to be seen at the same time. Like that. You don't want that. So make sure it's stacked. You can create another title. Sick. I mean... Yep. Copy it. I mean paste with Control and V. Erase all the other stuff. And bring it out over there. You can use the arrow keys alone or hold shift and use the arrow key. It's left or right to make it go a bit quicker. You want to press control and V. Line it up again. Oops. I used the wrong one there. Then I'm do it. Paste it again. There you go. I got it selected. Oops. Wrong S.
That is perfect. You're gonna erase the whole thing. Boom. And you have this something. Boom. Now you're gonna to wanna to select a music. I used MA free. They're pretty good. I didn't use that free download. I copied the link, went to youtube-mp3.org, pasted it, downloaded it, because I don't feel like going through the process just to download a free song. So yeah, once you found your song, drag it in. Then you're gonna wanna make it the same length as your video. It shouldn't be like longer than 20 seconds. Okay, this is the hardest part, I'd say, through this whole editing process. You're gonna wanna find where the beat kind of repeats, like, well, I'll show you. That bass kind of drop is where it repeats. And you're gonna wanna use it. You're gonna wanna use that part. So let's just turn this down a tad bit. Volume. That's good. Now we're gonna find it. Oh, whoops. There we go, drag the first title to it. Then the next one is it comes pretty quick. Okay, let's see if that looks good. The good thing about this song is that the default title time, it just perfects the beat out for some reason. So once you do that, you're gonna wanna search for Gauss, Gaussian Blur. Add some on there. 23 seems enough most of the time. Yeah, it looks good. Then you can add dip to white or dip to black, it doesn't matter. I like dip to white because it just seems better. And that's how it looks at the end. And then your video would start. Yeah, we're about done here. Thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helped you out. Thanks. Have a good day.